and the big impact it's having. The small car has finally hit the road with the prices unveiled this evening by Ratan Tata Siddharth Patankar with his first initial take of what is in that car. Siddharth, also, we'll of course be looking at the review of the Nano that you have uh, filed for us. But first off, purely looking at the prices, not quite a lag, just a wee bit over that. But once again, a grand launch and finally meeting the people's dreams. Yes, Shivnath, in fact, you're right. It was the, perhaps, you know, too good to be true to expect the price egg showroom to be uh, just at 1 lakh rupees, but uh, at least they managed to keep it 1 lakh notionally X factory. So uh, in that sense, Ratan Tata managing to keep his promise. Uh, the part that's going to be interesting to a lot of people to uh, to watch perhaps going forward from here is uh, just what the bookings look like. I mean, are people going to opt for that basic, basic car, which is uh, at about 1 lakh 12, 13,000 rupees uh, X Pantnagar, or are we looking at the high-end version, which is close to 1 lakh 70,000 rupees, and how this plays out vis-a-vis, -vis let's say, a second-hand Alto or a Centro. So it's going to be very interesting days going forward in the market there's going to be a big shake up as well Shivnath and uh, yes now we have every detail there is to know as you mentioned we'll also show our viewers the review very soon right Sid let me ask you this uh, looking at the way the price charts are of course everybody knows that it's the one like car and people have the option of buying a better piece of the same nano look at the way the loan structures are as well how do you uh, gauge the fact that people will think twice before they take a two-wheeler loan because on an average they're coming pretty close to buying a nano on a monthly basis well, that's right. And in fact, it's going to be cheaper as far as the interest rate payout is concerned on that nano, isn't it, Shelly? Let me just quickly show you. Back there, you can see a whole crowd of people around the cars on the stage. But there's also a crowd of people down below, and that's pretty much where Mr. Opie Bhatt is. We just spoke to him a short while ago as well, and he's inundated with questions. He said that uh, for his bank, there was this whole expectation that, okay, there could be a big risk associated with some of the nano or a typical nano buyer. But at the same time, the sheer volumes, the sheer numbers that we're talking about or the potential numbers was just too large a number to ignore. And I think that's what's in it even for the banks. Uh, when it comes to the consumer, of course, you're right. There is going to be an interesting play as to just how many consumers opt for a low down payment of just 3,000 rupees and opt for a loan for the rest of the amount. The banks, of course, especially SBI, say that they're raring to go with all of that money and uh, that they do expect good returns on this, maybe not in the first year, but definitely as the project goes into its second and third year, Shelley. Sid, very quickly, just on the huge demand that is expected now, any feelers later on in the evening when the prices actually came out and the price was just a shade above the 1 lakh Kamar, any kind of reaction from the Tatas looking at the dealer network uh, details also which is coming out for the consumer, how will it really play out? Well, now that the prices are out, Shivnath, in fact, Mr. Tata set this up on the stage as well uh, when he first, uh, when Mr. Ravikant first announced the prices and then he came on after that, uh, saying that uh, we've tried very hard to keep the price equation uh, limited. But the interesting catch there, I think, which we also, of course, heard in the morning is the fact that uh, this price that's been announced today, whether for the Bharat Stage 2 version or the high-end Bharat Stage 3 version, is only for the first 100,000 units. That's the first 1 lakh units, uh, which is, of course, the bookings, uh, which is, of course, the first lucky people who get uh, cars in the first phase. But also within that, even though a lot of people sort of seem to shrug their shoulders and say, all right, this is limited. Uh, at the same time, there was an understanding that when you talk about introductory prices for even something like a Maruti Swift, you don't talk about 1 lakh units. You talk about, let's say, 20,000 units at best. So it's still a fair number of people who are going to get access to the car at that basic price. A slight revision is expected beyond that. So that will only come in in the next phase of bookings open later on. Shivna. All right, Siddharth Patankar, thanks so much for joining us.